So our first project is to add a new button that will allow us to paint in a new color. So I'm going to add the button there into the horizontal arrangement. I'm going to make the text on the button yellow. And I'm going to change the background color of the button to yellow. And I also want to rename the button to something more descriptive than button one. I'm going to name it button yellow. And I want to change its width to fill parent so it matches the other buttons we created. <clears throat> so that takes care of the user interface. And now we need to go over and program the blocks. I'm going to switch to the blocks editor. Now this new button should be just like the other buttons. So we need the event handler, the when. I'm going to copy and paste the one for the green button and I'm going to change it uh, using the mutator here to button yellow. And I'm going to change the color by clicking on this block to yellow. So we've created a new event handler for the yellow button that when clicked will set the paint color of the canvas to yellow instead of green, and that should do it. The second problem was to replace the kitty image with our own image. So for that, we need to first upload a new image to App Inventor. So I'm going to click on the Upload, and I'm going to then browse around on my laptop. That's the one I want. So I say Open, and I say OK over here. And you see that it's now uploaded a new image to the media folder. And now I need to go into my canvas and change the background image to that new image. So this particular exercise could be done entirely within the designer. Now for the final exercise, uh, for which we want to add a camera button and use the camera component to take a picture that we use on our canvas. So I'm going to go into the media drawer and drag a camera component. And since this is a non-visible component, it won't show up on the user interface, but it will show up among the non-visible components. In addition, I need a button, and I'm going to add that button down below the white button, or above it. We'll leave it above it. I'm going to rename that button, button camera, and I'm going to put camera on a button as its text. So I've created a button. I've got my uh, camera component. I now need to go over to the blocks editor and program that. So the idea here is that we want to take a picture when the button is clicked. So I need an event handler for when the camera button is clicked, when camera button clicked, and I need to take a picture. So I'm going to go into my camera component over here and just I find a block that says call camera one dot take picture. And that seems to be what I need. I need to take a picture. But what happens to that picture when it's taken? Well, that's an event. The taking of a picture is an event. So I need to look for an event handler that will handle that event. So I'm going to go into my camera component again. And there we have an event when the camera dot after picture. We should do something. And what should we do? Well, we should make the image that we get from the picture to, uh, we should set the canvas's background image to that image. So I'm going to go into my canvas component and look for my setter block way down on the bottom. There it is. And I want to set the canvas's background image. Now this is the really tricky part. Where do I find the image I got back from taking the picture? You have to go into the variables drawer to find that, get the getter, and use the mutator to select the image. And that's it. So that was pretty complicated, but it shows a couple of interesting things about App Inventor, namely that we need many uh, event handlers in this particular app, for one for each of our buttons, one for when the camera is done taking a picture, and of course, a couple for our canvas operations. So this was a very complicated app. So good work. Uh, let's uh, continue inventing apps.